In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you about the program Bryce 5.5. Bryce 5.5 is a three-dimensional drawing program, and we're going to spend a little time in class working on that. So the, to get to there, you're going to go to Start, Most Use Applications, and all the way up to Bryce 5.5. Now when you come in, you come into kind of a wire screen view. It doesn't look like much. Okay. Um, what you what you want to do first is you have these little down arrows right here and you can see when I click on them they all have different menus that come up. The one down the very bottom I want you to make sure that you're on a standard 640 by 480 which is basically when you render this or make the picture look like the picture um, you want it to be in full screen and that's what it's in right now. Okay, so when you come in right now, basically they give you one thing on the screen. They give you um, basically your floor, so you know where that's at. This little guy right here is actually um, your camera. Um, it's almost like you're looking through a, a camera, and this is what you would see. Okay, the this menu up here gives you your different views. Okay, so you can see if I click on this, I have director's view, camera view. You can see I'm from the top, so it's like I'm looking straight down right now. And if I kind of scroll out, you can see that here's my camera. So when things are in red, I can actually move them around. So if I want to move my camera forward, I can do that. Okay, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go in just a little bit. And you can see that if I click here, oops, sorry. I click here I can center my my scene so now it will center it out for you you don't have to worry about zooming in and out I'm gonna go from the director's view though excuse me the camera view so it gives me basically looking straight out it makes it nice and easy so you have these um, basically names up here create and then you have a little arrow edit a little arrow sky and fog and a little triangle arrow if I click on create you'll see that it gives me this menu of items now this menu of items basically are just kind of shapes so if I click on one I can move in this shape okay um, if so this would this would equal water land you could put in a mountain so a mountain right here I'm gonna take that one out um, you have in like a tree these guys here you can see what they are by looking right down here so you can see that this is a torus a cube um, that one's a cone you have this guy which is a picture object which means that you can pull in pictures if you just click on this guy um, the only picture that you have loaded is you know this guy here so um, if you clicked on him and then press check it would bring him in but it doesn't really bring much of anything in these guys equal light so if you have a dark picture or an underwater picture if you put one of these in it's not that it's actually bringing in this shape because you really don't see it but it brings in it's almost like a light bulb within your um, picture the only time you'd use that would be at night or if it's an underwater picture I'm gonna delete that so I also have all these different objects in here Okay, and you saw that I went there, instead of clicking on create, I clicked on the triangle, and it brought open all these different characters. Now you're going to see that a lot of them are uh, almost science fiction, okay, but you have, so if I brought in, let's see, I bring in a ship, I'm going to bring this guy in. So I'm going to click here, and I'm going to press check, and you're going to see that it brings it in. Now when it brings it in, I also have this guy here too. Okay, so once you bring something in, you kind of want to change it. You want to make it your own. Okay, so I have these editing tools, and I'll tell you the ones you're going to use are this one, which is resize, and you can see that it's right down here resize, rotate, and reposition. Those are the main ones you're going to use. So those are the ones I'm going to talk about. So if I click on this guy right here, if I want to resize this, watch what it does. If I click on this, it's going to make it wider. Well, I don't really want to do that. That kind of distorts it. But you can see that by moving my mouse and then going left or right, I can resize these. But again, you don't want to really distort it. Now I could also pull it from a corner and kind of do the same thing so you can see I'm resizing it 
making it smaller, larger. If I pull on this middle one here, I'm kind of doing the same thing. I always like to use the tools though, okay? And then I have a rotate, and you can see when I um, put my cursor, my pointer, um, along this circle here, you can see it kind of bolds up. I can rotate this figure, okay? But if I put it on this one, you can see that, so if you wanted to make kind of a sinking ship, okay, or you can also do this one. So you can have this one sinking too, so if it's going down, okay. Um, and then you have this guy here, and I'm going to reposition this one. So this is our reposition, and you can see that I can move, um, I can move this one kind of to the background. So I can move it way back. So if, if this is a distant, <clears throat> a distant moon or a sun, you can see that it moves it kind of to the background, which is kind of what I want. Um, it makes it look more realistic. See how I get it way back there? Um, now you're not going to be able to do that if you just click and drag it. Um, if you click and drag it, and you know you're going to see that it still remains huge. Well, I don't want it to be huge. I want it. To be in the foreground or the background excuse me so I can put a way back there um, <clears throat> so those are your three main tools you have resize you have rotate and you have reposition you'll use those a lot so if I want to put this one back a little bit well I just move it back okay and I kind of use these tools to move it back um, and I can move this one down if I wanted to now you'll see there's some things here I also want to talk about. There's a lot to this program, as you see. I have an up arrow, which means <clears throat> um, it's going to kind of position everything according to your ground. Okay, so if I wanted to, uh, if I wanted to put this one down on the ground level, I would hit the down arrow, and it's going to put it down. Now it doesn't look like it here, but when you get this picture in the rendered view, you're going to see that it's right on the horizon line. If I want this one on the horizon line, it's already there, okay? Um, and that's what M means. Basically, it means that it's on the horizon, okay? Um, and then lastly, uh, well, I'm not going to say lastly because we're not quite done. So if I click the edit arrow now, okay, you're going to see that a materials list comes up. And I'm going to bring this guy, I'm going to bring this back up here. So I want it to get a little bit closer. Actually, I'm just going to pull another one in. So I'm going to pull another one in instead of spending time doing that. So you've got one closer. So again, if you try to send this one to the background just by clicking and dragging it, you can't do it. Okay, It'll move it basically left and right, but you can't move it backwards. So let's take a look here. So after I bring something in, I, I can position it. Even before that, you can change the color and the texture of it, which is kind of cool. And again, I just hit the arrow here. And it brings open buildings, uh, city maps, flooring, painting, painted services, walls. Well, that doesn't really help me because this should look like a moon. But if you look down here where it says architectural, by default it always comes in under architectural. Um, you have all these other kind of textures and colors. Atmospheres, clouds, effects, glass, rock, stone, stones, terrains. So let me see. I have waters here. Uh, atmospheric. Let me just change this to a oh, clouds effects. I don't want that. Gemstones. And you'll see that you have all these different shapes, uh, colors, and textures that comes in. Now you'll see basically everything kind of looks uh, like a sphere. It's not that it's going to change it to a sphere, it's going to change it to the color and texture that you see on here. So let's say I like this one. I'm going to click it and I'm going to click uh, my check mark and you're going to see that it will change it <clears throat> to this color. doesn't change it in the wire view. Okay. So I want you to be aware of that. So I can do the same thing with my ground here. I click on the ground, change it to red, I go to my edit arrow and I'm going to change this one to waters. <clears throat> now again, it doesn't change it to a sphere, but look at the waters, kind of what you see. And I'm going to I'm going to click on this one here. So it says nice water. 
uh, calm watery surface with moderate waves can be had with this material. You also have radioactive, you have turbulent. Um, I'm going to go back to my, what was it? My nice water. And I'm going to change it there. And you'll see in this little thumbnail view, you're starting to get a sense of what it's going to look like. But before I look at it, I want to do one more thing. I want to go to sky and fog. Let me see my sky and fog arrow. I'm going to go to my sky and fog arrow. And you're going to see it has some preset skies and fogs that you can use. Now, what I'll tell you is when you choose a sky and fog, actually before that, I'm going to show you the kind of the difference. So when I want to take a look at this picture, I hit this guy right here, this big circle. Basically, if you look down here, it says to render. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to render it. So it renders your picture. And you can see this line that comes down through it. Um, every time it comes down through it, it makes it more clear and you can see that our our um, ship is not there so we're gonna have to take a look I'm gonna I'm gonna go and I'm gonna press escape and it's gonna take me back here and I'm gonna take a look from the kind of uh, a different view to see why things aren't showing up so if I move this I'm gonna move it here I'm gonna go to my maybe a top-down view you can see it was out of the range of my, and you can see in the rendered view, okay, or in the thumbnail view, that you can see it's back there. So I had it half in, half out like I wanted. I'm going to re-render it and see what it looks like. So I'm in the top-down view. Don't really like that view. So I'm going to press escape. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go from camera view, and then I'm going to render it again. So when I render it, you can see it almost makes it look like this ship is sinking. Pretty cool, huh? Um, and then remember when I moved that a long time ago? It didn't look like it was down on the horizon. Well, now it, it is. It's down on your, basically, your ground plane. So um, <clears throat> just like you would in any other picture, if you're looking at a, uh, a picture, this gives you, uh, basically gives you some sort of sun. So you can see there's a shadow and a shadow. Okay, so I'm gonna hit escape. And I'm gonna do a couple things. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to tab through. So t hitting tab allows you to um, move through. So if I tab, it moves through your different objects. When you get a lot of objects on, sometimes that is the only way that you can get from object to object. So you can edit it. Okay. So I want you to take a look. I'm gonna pick another. I'm gonna pick a different background, and you're gonna see how it affects the basically the. Uh, different objects on my picture. Okay, so you can see here it's a different background, but you can see how it's going to affect the way everything looks. This would almost be like a sunset. So you can see at sunset, things don't look the same as when they are um, at sunrise or at 12 noon. Um, but you can see my pictures kind of coming along. I have a little earth here and I have a ship sinking. Um, and the more you put in, the more you make it your own, the better these pictures are going to look. So these are just some of the main components of Bryce 5.5. Have fun with this.